How are you today? Hey, we're back with the Blix Avenue again. And uh, hi, I'm Arnie and this is E-Bike Trippin'. And we talk e-bikes, we go for rides, we check out accessories. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified, notified whenever you put, we put up new content. And Finley says, yeah, help Dad out. <laughs> Today we're looking at um, a pannier pannier if you prefer that pronunciation single-sided pannier for my wife's Blix Avenue and this looked so so cute I decided I'd buy it and um, it has this nice red bottom here it's a heavy canvas blue and the, the low, I don't know what you call this here the design with the bicycles tourbon Looks French to me. I'm going with the pr French pronunciation. This is a nice pocket on here, and it, you probably won't be able to tell in this lighting, but it has this nice striped lining inside. A leather patch here. I can't read it because I don't have my glasses. Since something, something, tourbon with a bicycle on it. Handles are leather. Very nice. The top opening has a zipper closure. We've got it nicely tucked in here so you can't get to it. A zipper closure on the top. A little bit twisted right now. What's the deal here? Oh, I've got it twisted. No, you stay away from that. There we go. So zipper closure, very nice. Inside, you've got, hope you can see that, you've got two bags here, or not bags, two pockets here. And on the other side, you've got a bigger pocket with a Velcro strap closure that, you know, for probably be great for like an iPad or something like that whatever and the main compartment is pretty cavernous now this is very cool I love this because not only does it have these nice handles that you can carry it with but notice on the back it's got this little thing here and on the sides you've got this little these little D rings here on both sides Inside, you've got this strap. I just think this is very cool. Now, I probably I would never do this myself, but clip the strap to one of these D-rings, run it up to the big D-ring, thread it through, and Back down to the other D-ring. I'm not sure I'm still in frame here. And now you've got this nice little backpack also. And I thought that was so darn cute. There it's two times in one video where I've said cute. Well, it is. I'm going to take that off. As I usually do, I'll leave links to this down in the description if you're into this. And I don't know why you wouldn't be. Even if you're a guy, get one for your wife if she likes this kind of stuff. Now, the main thing is, how do you attach it to the bike? Well, nice on the um, Avenue, it comes with its own nice rack. And so you've got these two clips that just hang over, snap down. It's a, there's a tight fit, so I might struggle here a little bit. There we go. There's one, almost. And there's the second one, almost. There we go. 
And on the bottom is this strap that goes and holds it to the pannier or pannier and you affix it like that. That is just a nice, nice addition to the bike. Don't know about you, but I love that. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, if you, if you want to find out about the basket that's on the front of the bike, make sure that you check the uh, video to the right of me. And if you want to see the review of the bicycle itself, check out, wait a minute, I turned that around. To the left of me, to the right of me. You'll notice. <laughs> Anyway, I'm off camera there, or off screen anyway. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure that you have subscribed. Make sure that you give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. We do appreciate you stopping by and checking us out. See you in the next one.